All right, everybody, we're back. We're at Wow Car Wash. We're heading to the Allen Beck Memorial Park. It's 5.2 miles, eight minutes on route. Christy, let's press the brake to activate drive. Press the FSD wheel to engage FSD. And we are off. Let's see if she could pull us out of the Wow parking lot. So she's trying. You can see it there. She's inching. We do have pedestrians around. We got a car pulling out. Will she inch us out of here? Let's see. Let's just give it a couple more seconds. Okay, go ahead and bump the throttle. All right, we'll just give it a quick bump on the throttle, and she is off. Keep it tight. We got pedestrians in here. All right, and here we go. Take a look at our route. So we have quite a few routes here. Let's go ahead and take the Durango route. We could hop on the freeway and wrap around. Let's go ahead and take the city streets. Now, here's an interesting situation. We are going to have to go through the Walgreens parking lot across the street to navigate back through. I don't know if she can do it. Let's find out. Let's keep an eye on the route to make sure she doesn't reroute us as well. We have the right blinker on. We're kind of pulling out to head across, but are we? We are not. Okay, so let's see here. And that's the biggest problem right now is the route navigation. So we have our left arrow on. We cannot turn left here. Let's see if she fixes it. Be prepared to take over. Let's see what she does. Go ahead and put on the right blinker. She did just before. Okay, so she turned it off. And now the I traffic behind is wondering what's going on. All right, so it looks like it did reroute us to go back on the freeway. As soon as, as, soon as we turn right, I'm going to reroute us. It's going to do the U-turn on Durango here. Quite a bit of traffic. She was inching up. We can go on the inside lane. We're clear on the inside. See, you got traffic coming up here. Now, if I change the route to right behind us on the fly, we're gonna pull through the light, I believe, and then do the U-turn. And she's merging in. Look at that tight maneuver. That car wasn't, if I was that car, I would have let the cyber truck in, come on. All right, let's take a closer look here. Yep, we're gonna be setting up for the U-turn. Perfect. Can't wait till we get Tesla maps or more updated maps where, it, it would have been great if it went through the Walgreens parking lot. Yes. It would have been tight, but it would have been great. And that's usually what we do when we, we're trying to backtrack through. We have to cut across. Or you're forced to do the U-turn. All right, we still have the protected green left. We're setting up for the U-turn. Stay green. Looks like that Toyota Corolla is doing the U-turn. And so are we. Middle lane or, we, or inside lane? That, that's a perfect U-turn. Sure was. Alright, we're changing lanes. Got the green light. Double check our route. I do want to show you that the supercharger there on West Tropical always busy, especially on Saturday. Right now it's showing about a five minute wait. It's wild over there. Alright, let's double check our route. So one route has is going on the freeway. I'm gonna take the back streets. Let's see if it holds that route. It does love to change the route on the fly without you knowing. I wish it gave you a little audible alert or something if it changed the route, like ding. And then that way you know if something, <laughs> I don't know. That would be nice, yeah. It would be nice. I have to imagine though, one day in the future there will be no more misrouting, you know? Like all these things we talk about now in the future will just be like, I can't believe you went through that. That UPS guy's climbing up on the curb there stopping traffic. And we do have these new lights, these new blinking lights for cross traffic. This is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen these lights to see how FSD performs. It's for the crosswalk. Yeah, they're new though with bl blinking red to left to right. That's an odd behavior. I've never seen that. Brand new street light. And do we have any pedestrians around? I don't see any on the visualizations. So are we just, did they just add a stoplight here? Well, I, well, All right, looks like we're going through. I'm guessing somebody pushed the button, the crosswalk button. Yeah, I was wondering why we didn't completely stop there. I wasn't sure either. Very weird intersection. I hope they don't leave that light just blinking all the time. That's gonna cause more accidents than it would save, I think.
1.7 of a mile till our left turn. Got pink box donuts to the left, hibachi to the right. One thing I like about the hibachi is how they do the onion thing and light it on fire and you get all the heat from the table, you know? It's pretty yes. nice. It's definitely an experience. It's like a Benihana's. Yeah, exactly. Or teppanyaki. I don't think I've ever been there. We got the green light ahead. Is there a teppanyaki here? I don't know. I've never heard it. Oh, it's just like Benihana's and that one. Mm-hmm. Something in the road there. Almost looked like a palm leaf. We're doing 37 and 35. We've hit the max again, 5% offset. Having that low offset just keeps you in check on the city streets so she's not speeding like 5 or 8 or 9 over the speed limit. I feel like two, three miles an hour over the speed limit is a nice cruising speed. And we got the green light five hours later. <laughs> Protected left green arrow. I always wondered why the lights were so long in Vegas. Yeah, they're super long. Let's see how she navigates this turn. So that was a fail in my opinion. She kind of went narrow. I she tends to go wide when there's a car right beside us, but if there's no car, she kind of cuts a little close. Oh, there's quite a few areas in town where we're going to have to see on the next update if she's getting better. Because really, it's minimal intervention, or minimal problems, really. Minimal issues. Just got to tweak it. This is definitely the best version of full self-driving ever. Looks like we're going to be going through the stop sign here. Got more construction here for the bridge. The new bridge coming to join the communities. And let me know what you think in the comments below about the bridge to join communities. There's, I don't think there's any entrance from the feeder from the freeway. I just don't know yet. No. I want to say, I think the project was $40 million on this one. No, they have no entrance to the freeway on this side. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. Right, we have our left turn coming up. We do have the blinking stoplight. So far, she's been performing good on these, except for that new one with the side blinking. She, I think she kind of ran that one back there. A little late to merge, in my opinion. Full stop, we're clear on all sides. Treating it just like a four way, very good. Oop, hit that max. So she's on hurry mode 25, we hit the max of 32. And you could feel it too, she was like winding up like an airplane, ready to go about 40. Yes. <laughs> and then whoop. Pay attention to the road, it says. The driver attention monitoring is very sensitive lately, which is great. Yeah. You know, we don't mind that. It definitely, it's been so much more calibrated. Before, it would throw errors when you were paying attention, but now, if you're not paying attention, you get the error. Although, Christy seems to get the error more, more times than not. But I, I can't tell where she's looking. <laughs> All right, we have another blinking red light. Let's see how she performs. This is one light where either one of the vehicles never really wanted to go through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite, it had quite a, for months we had problems with the stoplights blinking, but looks like they nailed it. All right, we're changing lanes to go right on route. I, would just, I just saw a 30 mile an hour speed limit and it changed on here as well. Perfect. 
it's been getting better at reading the, the speed limit signs as well. All right, full stop. We are clear to the left or at the stoplight. Very methodical turn there, calibrated. Looks like we're gonna be merging into two lanes here. And then we have our entrance to the park ahead. A purple Tesla. Lavender. Oh yeah, it kinda of had like a pearl effect to it. Yeah. Purple pearl. Allen Beck Memorial Park. Or it says Officer Allen Beck. So they must have uh, created this one after a fallen officer, possibly. Oh, yep, there's a statue. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Look at that wind blowing. Wow. Welcome to Las Vegas, that's where the wind never stops. All right, let's see where she parks. What are we going to do? Are we going to make it in between the lines this time? We got the right blinker, which is an odd choice. We got the right blinker, but we're pulling into the left. Let's see what she does here. That's it. And so it almost looks like it wants to do the backup maneuver because we are setting up mm -hmm. for a rear. Let's go ahead and uh, disengage and see what parking spots are available real quick. Let's try one right here and see what happens. So we're gonna test an auto park in this little quirky situation. Looks like that was the spot. It says auto park in progress, press brake to cancel. We're kind of just sitting here. Press the throttle just a little bit. All right, oh. she's moving again. I didn't even touch it. Oh, you didn't? Okay, no. let's, let's see what happens. So I think she's kind of tricked up here. Press the throttle again. She's doing it all on her own. A little strange behavior. Yeah, so I've noticed that if you try to do auto park in these weird situations where the lanes aren't actually set up correctly, disengage and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Press the brake. Reverse. All right, so now we can see the lanes in normal view back up. And let's go ahead and try one now. All right, let off. This is unavailable. All right, let's try it again. So now that it has the normal lane line, I feel like, all right, we are having errors here, take over. All right, let's try it one more time for science. All right, we're gonna press it again, start. Let's see if she can get us in there. We're not giving up today. She's gotta whip it. And I'm sure whoever's at this park is wondering, what are we doing? Now, if we had the summon feature, summon hasn't been added to the Cybertruck yet, I would test out some summon in this parking lot. And I do want to test out, before we leave, I'm going to test out the buttons here while I remember. So let's see if she can park first. And then what we'll do is we'll test out the emergency um, shift out of park here on the top. So just in case the screen goes black, you still have your axis up here. She right. really struggled to get that one done. That was a struggle. What about three minutes? All right, so let's go in. If you kind of like, okay, so we press the hazards. We are in park. So if you press, you can see them light up. I know you can't see them light up here, but let's go ahead and hold drive or press the brake. So you still have to press the brake and now we're in drive by using the, and let's go into park. All right, she got us into park. Let's go into reverse. Reverse, and then we'll park, put in neutral. Yep, and then back to park. And that's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.